However, the DIIR is not a QDMTT. In fact, the bill does not include the introduction of a QDMTT. There are two main differences between the DIIR and a QDMTT. Firstly, the DIIR will apply only to MNE groups which have a New Zealand located UPE. This is shown in the diagram on the left. In contrast, a QDMTT would apply to all MNE groups, regardless of where the UPE is located. This is shown in both the left and right diagrams. The second difference is described in the commentary accompanying the bill. The DIIR is unlike a QDMTT. If a New Zealand UPE has a direct subsidiary that is low taxed when there is also a minority interest, the DIIR will only apply to the portion of the low tax profits attributable to the New Zealand MNE's ownership. Under a QDMTT, the top-up tax would need to be paid on the basis of 100% ownership.